All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be hopefully catching some pretty big bluegill. I just got out here, set up the tent, and yeah, I actually caught a few fish before this intro. I'd, sometimes I make the intro after, because I don't like to make a video if I don't catch any fish. I will say there's a, a few pretty big fish catches in my opinion, and yeah, we are out here today on Lake Winnebago. I'm in, a, I'm in the tent right now. Um, I don't want to give away my location because I know Lake Winnebago is a pretty big lake. But I'm going to talk to you guys about some strategies about how to fish Lake Winnebago along with some pretty big bluegill. But yeah, another reason I'm in the tent, I don't want to show too much of the landmarks. I don't want my spots to get fished out. But yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys too much with the intro of me talking. So I'll see you all on the GoPro. Yeah, guys, you might be wondering why this is just laying out here, not in the actual fabric. That's because last time we used this tent, it was super windy. It was like 40 mile an hour winds. So it ripped this guy out of the tent and then the tent blew away. That sucks. I'm going to have to fix that now, but it's still the middle of the day. So the fish aren't very biting very much. So I'm going to try to set this up, drill a hole and get our lines wet before the bite starts picking up. All right, I finally fixed the tent. All four sides are fully intact now. We can't afford an electric drill or even a gas drill. So yeah, time to spud bar through almost two feet of ice right here. Always oh, coming. There he is, got him. Feels nice, feels decent. Oh, got him. There we go, that's what we're looking for. That's a keeper. That's how you want them right there. My GoPro almost fell down the keeper. I grabbed keeper, it. That's yes sir. Slab. We're keeping them. He's doing a catch and cook as well as keeping a pet fish. So if you also want to see a catch and cook, I've already done multiple, so I don't really need I'm to. Nice I'm contributing. Really First one of the day is a slab. All right, we're dropping right back down. As soon as you catch a, oh, there he is. That's what I mean. As soon as you drop down, or as soon as you catch one, he's wrapped in the trans, transducer. But this one is not a keeper, but that's what I mean. As soon as you catch one, you want to drop right back down because they're going to be hungry. Clearly the bite is picking up right now. It's a nice little guy going right back down. If he was maybe a little bigger, I would consider keeping him, but that was definitely not a keeper. So yeah, that's one tip. Um, Another tip. Dude, get out of here. I'm coming in the slab shack. To sit down. They're all goofing Fine. around. Fine. Dude, you just stepped on your fish. <laughs> Yep. Dude, well, it looks like 9 to Outdoors is coming in here to, to the slab factory. Yeah, because you're actually catching fish and they're being retards in there. But anyway, another tip I was going to give was also if you see a lot of fish in your hole and they're not biting, try to downsize because that's what I learned. Because I, was I wasn't getting bites earlier, but I downsized. You recording, Chief? No. Got him. Dink, this one's tiny. This one might go in your fish tank. He's going in the fish tank. Dude, Dude he just caught one. Actually, that's... No, that's too small. That's way too big. Very big, I mean. Sploosh. Drop back down try to get another one. Yeah, the bite's definitely turned on, though. Because in the middle of the day... We that, caught w one. Yeah, which I didn't even get on camera, so it's basically the start of the video for you guys. Oh, one's coh coming in. Sleeping oh, my sleep. God. You just got hammered. Got him. Got him. He feels... Not like a keeper. He doesn't feel it either. No, same, same size as before, literally. <laughs> that, same size. That literally looks... He choked it. Oh. I couldn't even set the hook before he went down the throat. Choked. No fish down the hole anymore. Give me that wax worm, boy. Sayonara. They get wrapped in the transducer every single time. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. Catch him. Dude, there's like 30 in that one spot. Another one, No, dude. it's not big. Another dink. Dude, transducer for the third time. Hey, but if it weren't for the transducer, we wouldn't have any of these. But there's still fish, yeah. The first two were decent. The first the first one was big. The second one was like, I knew I like bigger than that. Catch any more? Oh my God. He didn't have it all the way. He might eat it again. What's coming up? Oh, I'm setting it too early. Go. Dude, what? Thumped it. I saw it. It was like dunk compared to the little guys. I wasn't getting bit. Oh, there we go. 
That one feels decent. Oh, it's just wrapped. Oh, no, that's an eater. You're eating them? Yeah, we're eating them. Get off the transducer. This transducer is going to be the death of me when I lose an eight pounder. <laughs> I swear. We're eating them. You're eating them? Yeah. His body's built like a crappie, dude. I know. It looks weird. Yes, sir. That's a, that's like on the verge of an eater, but he's going to eat them. Yeah, we're eating them, chief. Well, he's keeping them. It's not focusing, but throw them on the ice. Throw them on the ice. He's a little smaller than that other one, but he eats. still has some meat on him. Go back down. We're going to fish this spot out so that we can never fish here again. That's what I mean. That's a decent one. Is he big? Yeah. Really? No, Never he's not. Mind. Nope. He's like that same size we've been catching. Yeah. It's a transducer, dude. It's pissing me off. <laughs> it's slap against the tent. All right. I don't really like this tripod angle. It's not the best because this shack is super tiny, and so is this fish. So I'm going to switch you guys back up to the GoPro. They're loving this tungsten. <laughs> no. That means he gets five bucks for every hundred you make. I'd rather take 20 bucks. Oh bucks from you then get a new power bank well, i'd rather catch this fish i'd rather stop arguing over dumb shit got him oh my god that's big that's a big in oh my god dude grab the transducer dude that thing's lodged in there oh. there we go guys probably my biggest of the day honestly i don't know if that first one was bigger or not but we're gonna let him go oh yeah i forgot he's doing a catching cut we are not letting this guy go that's an eater. That's is that four or five now? Uh we got a struggle here. Yeah, it's it's wrapped pretty bad. But we're gonna throw that guy on the ice. Rip. We're taking a lot out today. If we keep it up, drop it right back down. Got one. Let's go. You got one? <laughs> really? <laughs> Dude, actually, this little guy ate the tungsten. You're keeping them? Yeah. Throw it in the minnow bucket. It has way more water. Yeah, throw it in the minnow bucket and it can eat. Or it All right, on his guys. channel, he's keeping this little guy for his fish tank. So go click the card in the top right corner and you can see that video if it's out by now. Probably not. Yeah. But that's a perfect little guy. We might want to put a little more water, but. Yeah. It's good because we're only going to be here for another few hours, so. Yeah. All right, so when we first got here, my Vexlar was, like, the battery wasn't plugged in to the wire, so I thought it was definitely dead. So I was like, dang, we're not about to catch any fish now. But anyway, I'm going to go set up my tent, and because um, their tent's a little crowded, I'm going to set up the tripod. And then if they catch a big one or if I catch a big one, we'll just run back and forth and stuff. But, like, most of his catches I'm not going to record, so go check out his channel. Man, it's bright out here. <laughs> How many fish? Four? Got him. Fuck, I'm not recording. Fish tanker. <laughs> you got three for the tank. No, three you're not putting tank. that in there. Three for the tank. No, we're not putting oh, it in no, the tank. No, this is too big. In the tank. Tank. Sploosh. Oh, <gasps> you saw that. <laughs> You heard, I, you heard that and you saw it. Yeah, I'm in the party tent now. Yeah, we're in the, he's in the big tent. All right, y'all, my friends are packing up. Um, this is kind of like my last chance of, to catch a fish here. Um, I've been hole hopping around. I don't know, the bite definitely turned off. It's kind of weird. Um, the bite should actually be picking up since it's like the sun is setting right now. But um, apparently it was good in like the mid-afternoon type deal or something like that. I don't know. But the fish have been very finicky the last like hour. So um, moved out of the shack. I went in their shack. I think I caught like a dink in there. But I don't I don't know if I'll put that in the video. Yeah, this is pretty much it unless if I catch one right here. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the outro. Look at this freaking donkey. Oh my god. That thing's huge. This is, this might be like the biggest, I don't know if it's the biggest bluegill I've ever caught, but definitely the biggest one I've ever caught through the ice. I don't know. I haven't gone ice fishing much besides this year. I'm more of an open water fisherman, bass fisherman. Um, haven't been, in, have not been able to get on much bass this year through the ice. None actually, now that I think about it. But, hey man, right when I was about to leave, did not record at all. 
which, I mean, hey, I missed out on a pretty good fight on camera because that thing was digging down, about to snap my line because I only got like two pound line on here. It was a big fight, pretty big fight for this guy. I don't know, it's hard to give this guy justice, especially on camera, but just think, look at it. That's my finger on this tail. It's a big end. My friend left, so we're not gonna catch and cook him. But at the same time, we're letting a behemoth go, um, let him grow bigger, and at the same time, reproduce. So that's good for the ecosystem. Let him go. That was not a very graceful release, but goodbye, buddy. Dude, what's he doing? He ain't going down. Apparently he wants to be eaten, but... Oh my god, that's a giant. I don't know why he's not going down. Maybe it's just... Yeah, it is like two feet of ice. Yeah, that's probably why it was like two feet of ice. But we got a nice second look at him once he went down. But I do have to go pretty soon. I might fish a little longer, because I don't know, I was about to leave because it got cold. But dude, if I can catch him that big, I don't care how cold I am, I'm going to keep fishing. Man, I really wish I got that fight on camera. That was a... One, that was the most insane fight I've had all year, along with the biggest bluegill I've had all year. So I might fish for another like five minutes. I don't know. I am freezing. Um, I think that might have been like a coincidence since I've been fishing this hole all day and we finally got a giant. Those um, keepers that we had were, they, they were definitely keepers, but they just weren't huge. They were all just like right at that keeper level and he was doing a catch and cook for his channel. So yeah, it sucks that he didn't get to keep it, but at the same time, it's another... Like I said, it's another one going back down to reproduce and possibly be caught again. Oh my God, I had one. Yeah, I was packing up, you know, put the GoPro away, put the camera away actually as well. Had no cameras. I dropped down the transducer one last time since I left the shack to go check out all the other holes that we made to see if there was any in them. Right when I got back to the tent, took off the GoPro, put it in the camera bag, then literally grabbed this camera, threw it in the camera bag, dropped, dropped in the transducer, realized there was a giant down there, caught him off camera, and then I pulled out this camera again, and now I got the GoPro as well. The GoPro was never really, I never really put the GoPro away. I just, basically the battery was dead and I was about to, now that I think about it. I don't know if we'll catch any more, honestly. I definitely have to leave. It's going to get dark out pretty soon here. And I'm also not 16, so I can't just drive back home. My dad's got to pick me up. Yeah, five minutes later and there's still no fish. So as you guys can see, like the reel is all like messed up. It's like not turning, but cause it's like frozen. But hey, I think today was a pretty successful day. I caught some piglets, especially that last one. I went out with a bang for sure. This little guy, this cheap little rod caught me all those fish. If you guys ever think that money is holding you back from fishing, this applies to most hobbies, but fishing for sure, if you're thinking that a budget is the reason why you're not catching fish, it's really not. I've had this rod for like three years. I'll probably invest in like better rods next year, honestly, but for now, I'm more into open fish, open water fishing. I'm just happy to be fishing in the winter time. I'm just happy that we're at least getting on some fish. Even if they're just bluegill, it might be a little boring, but in my opinion, catching big bluegill is better than catching nothing. So yeah, guys, um, I'm freezing cold. Um, my dad's probably about to be here soon. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Comment below your biggest fish through the ice. My biggest fish I've ever caught through the ice is probably like a decent northern, I don't know. That was on a tip up like a few years ago, which I didn't record. I didn't even have my YouTube channel back then. I really wanted to get on some bigger species this year, um, some bass, northern. Um, but the biggest thing I got on was, a, I think it was a crappie or a bluegill, I don't know. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'm freezing as you can probably see, I'm pale as a ghost. I'm ready for springtime. Um, we're closing in on the end of ice fishing, which I'm happy about. The temps are starting to get a little warmer. They haven't gotten above freezing yet, but the weather says it's about to in, within the next week. I'm predicting we'll have another like two or three weeks of ice fishing, of safe ice fishing, but I'm getting ready for pre-spawn. I got some big plans with the John boat, as well as shore fishing a bunch. Also in the springtime, I get my driver's license so I can actually go to better spot besides like a neighborhood pond that's like a block away from my house. So I'll definitely be hitting more waters and all that. My camera battery's about to die because it's frozen. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.